that way. So wingers ball. Will the Masters be able to clip the wings of the wingers? That we'll have to see. And the ball is now out of bounds. It is going to be taken by Gurugram Masters. Three seconds in. We have a turnover. The real chief spotting up for a two and he's not able to sink that. But Vishesh Brigavanshi pulls down the rebound and gives it back to Amritpal. Amritpal being taken man by the bearded king. What is going to happen? Will the big dipper have his way? The real chief is upset with that call because that is a first foul and it has been conceded by the masters. Amritpal is going to attempt his first free throw. Makes it and puts up the first point on the board for the wingers. The general back to Bick. Bick for a two. Bounces off. Inderbeer spotting up for a two and this one. Lands in the exact same place and bounces back. The Chief this time takes it inside, kicks it out to the open man who's big, big for a two. And this one is good. Two points for the Masters. Abhutia drops it to Amritpal. Amritpal tries to back up into big and uh, he does pick one up. To big, big is free. Another opportunity for another two, but this one is way off target and Vishesh with the ball. Indy tries to make sure it is a little difficult for Vishesh, but Vishesh drops it to Amritpal. And uh, it's not going to be easy going up against Bik. And if you thought Bik was a big man, Bik seems to be a little smaller than Amritpal here. And you can see the kind of hustle that's going on under the board. It is not going to be easy between these two bigs. And Amritpal picks up another one for his team. Real Chief spotting up for a two and once again not able to sink that because once he starts draining those twos, then the Real Chief knows that it's the game is on. Vishesh to the hoop. Vivek Chauhan coming in for a quick breather and Indy will sit out for a bit. In all practicality, the wingers are, have been playing with just three players because uh, their fourth man, Rajan Sharma, is not yet ready for competition because he's recovering from an injury. And this is Vishesh Brigawanchi who tries to force his way inside. Big pulls down the rebound and gives it to Marcus. Marcus for a two. Six points for the Masters and the wingers have just picked up once and that gives them four points. They trail by two. 7.55 on the clock. Vishesh for a free throw. Misses that. Amritpal is there. But a whistle has been blown. So the score remains as it was. No damage done. Finding the open man. That is Vivek Chauhan. And what an assist by Indy. Threading the needle. And this time it is Abhudhya Yadav in traffic. Worming his way through, which is what he does best. Bick turns around. On him is Abhudhya. But the rebound pulled down by Amritpal. Vishesh once again. Vishesh. And that is Vivek Chauhan who concedes a foul. Vishesh to Amrit. Amrit tries to play bully ball under the board, but and makes it. Pick, picks it up, gives it to Indy. Indy spotting up and drops it back to Bick. Bick makes a turnover there. Amrit once again. Marcus hustles, picks up the ball. 
tries to take it inside but drops it to Indy. Indy will now pick it out and kick it. And that's Bic with another two. That's the ninth point for the Masters. Vishesh in and out. Open man. Amritpal in traffic off the glass. Marcus can't do anything about it but he makes sure that Indy will get the ball despite all the hurdles that he has faced in between. And that's a third two for Bic. If I can't do it inside, I'll do it from outside. That's what this big fella says. And so effectively because with every one of those attempts, he's added that extra point which is so very valuable in giving his team this lead. Right now, they are up by four and this is so, so crucial. Those ones won't cut it because Amritpal is there to answer with those ones. But it is important that the masters find out ways of their own to make those ones. And make sure that Vishesh doesn't pick up twos, as does Abhyudhya Yadav. So they're going to have to watch out for them. But this game is on. Vishesh guarded by Marcus. This time Amritpal backing into Bik. Turns, turns, figures out where is the gap. Bik made sure that he played tight defense to keep him away from his comfort zone. This is Indy all the way to the hoop but missed it and he is so mad at himself. But this is Vishesh with the ball for the wingers. Marcus is on him, playing him hard. And that is a jumper which finds nothing but the net for the wingers. Indy tries to reply with the two and the ball is out of bounds. And trailing Gurugram Masters are the wingers with behind by three. 5.58 on the clock. This is definitely going to turn out to be an epic final because that's exactly what we expected these two teams to do. Indy finding the open man in Bic. Bic for another two and this one is no good but Bic has it back from the Chief and lays one off the glass picking up the 12th point for the Masters. Amritpal missed that opportunity. Bic pulls down the rebound, gives it out to Indy. Indy for a two and no, hits the front rim and Vishesh picks up the rebound, gives it to Abhyudhya. Abhyudhya back to Amritpal. Amritpal in traffic but he nails an easy one off the glass. That is one more. Still trailing by three are the wingers. Big open and uh, there's no one there to guard him but he isn't able to drain that one. He did have a few big twos. Three to be precise. But this time in paint that is Vishesh and Amritpal doing the tango under the board. Chief Spotting up for a jumper. And that one is gold. Pure gold. 14 points now for the Masters. That too is as effective as it gets. And this time it's Vishesh and Indy getting into a tangle there. You can see the kind of energy and passion that both these teams bring into it. And they are going up against each other and playing hard. You can expect this. Whose ball is it going to be? Both of them playing mind games over here. And it is going to be winger's ball. Vishesh to the hoop. Missing it. Abhyudhya tries to save it. He does save it but into Bic's arms it goes. The Chief to Indy. Indy for a two. Couldn't make it. Amritpal pulls down the rebound and gives it to Abhyudhya. Abhyudhya spotting up for a two. Bic pulls down the rebound. Gives it out to Indy. Indy with a sky hook. Beautifully executed. Very, very well done. That's the general. Amritpal playing bully ball with Bic. And Bic makes sure that he doesn't sink that and pushes the ball out. This time it is the chief. And Bic is there to pick it up and tries to drop one in and draws a foul. This is going to be the bearded king going to the free throw line. What an opportunity to pick up another point and it's not going to be easy for Bic to go up against Amritpal but Bic has doing, been doing a phenomenal job making sure that Amritpal doesn't get those easy looks and making his life as difficult as possible under the board. 
the bully ball that Amritpal employed all these days during the league is not going to have the same effect as it did on the other big fellas like it is going up against Big Big is giving it out good and how? If he can't nail those one points from inside, Big is outside nailing those twos. And that is what is given the Masters this lead. They are up by five. Four minutes and four remaining on the clock. The Gurukram Masters have conceded four fouls while the Wingers have conceded just one. And this time, Big is the one that is going to the free throw line. An opportunity to take it up to a six-point lead. The Bearded King. Bikramjit Gill missed it. Amritpal pulls down that rebound, but the chief was there to pick their pockets. And how? This time, Indy all the way to the hoop, high off the glass, draws a foul, and he will go to the free throw line. An opportunity once again for the Masters. With the kind of experience that Inderbir. And Bikram have playing 3x3. They do know exactly what it takes to pick up those fouls and make their way to the free throw line. And that's exactly what they've done. Indy sinks this one, giving them 16 points. 3 minutes 54 on the clock. And that's a timeout. Three minutes 55 to the final buzzer and so much of activity and so much of action. And that's a huge two for the mighty Vishesh Brigawanshi. Trailing by just four. Indy almost losing it but he manages to save it and tries to launch one off the glass but a foul was not given. That's Abhyudhya Yadav challenging him and picking it right off Indy's hands. Great work there by Abhyudhya. Vishesh spotting up for a two. A tough one there. Lost his balance and this time Amritpal is the one that's going to check the floor out. And the real chief Marcus attempts a two but it is no good. You can see how much of hustle there is on the floor and it is Really, really close and really, really aggressive. A lot of action, exactly what we expected. 3.23 on the clock. The wingers are trailing by four. Masters need just five points to ice this game. But will the wingers allow them? Is That is a big question. Vishesh is upset about a couple of things and and they don't look very interested in continuing this game at this point in time. They're contesting those calls. The drama that we were expecting is a little bit different but it is drama nevertheless. The general and Vishesh exchanging some words here. Come on, boys, let's play ball. Abhyudhya, Amritpal, and Vishesh. This is actually a moment to get a breather. And they're not happy with the calls. And Bic signals to the Indy, to the general, let it go. The chief 
tries to drive no but he'll kick it out to Inderveer not able to make it Abhyudhya with the rebound tries to drop it to Amritpal Amritpal hustled there by Bick it's not going to be easy but Amritpal the big dipper sinks one and Marcus this time couldn't make it Inderveer with the ball gives it back again to Marcus Misses it, but Marcus is there to pick it up. And a nice jumper there. Fetches them the 17 point. Vishesh for a two. And this one is good. 15 points for the wingers. They trail by just two. It could swing any which way. And this is exactly what we want in a grand finale. This game has a mix of everything right and definitely the clash of the titans. That's what it is. And that is Indy with the jumper there. That's the 18th point coming for them. Vishesh spinning. And that jumper is no good. Bick pulls it down and he is going to take it out. Gives it back to Inderbir. Inderbir will spot. Give it back to Indy. Who's, Bick who spots up. But that is Vishesh with the rebound for the wingers. Pulling back up and... A jumper, but he misses that. Abhyudhya with the ball and it's his turn to spot up once again. The Chief is the one who pulls down that rebound, takes it back out. Minute and 59 on the clock. What can the Chief do right now? He spots up for a jumper. Adds that one. That is a 19th point. Amritpal with the ball. Just a minute and 46 remaining on the clock. Vishesh for a two. And no, it won't go and they trail by four. Inderbir with the ball for the Masters. A long two. He would like to ice this and be done with this. That's how they like to finish with twos. But this is Vishesh launching a two of his own. And the ball is rebounded. No, it goes out of bounds. Minute and 27 on the clock. Trailing by four are the wingers. And a timeout has been called. This winger's ball, minute and 27 on the clock. Vishesh being guarded by Indy. Spots up for a two. It's no good. Amritpal tries to pick up the rebound and keeps it safe. Back again to Vishesh. Vishesh is looking for those opportunities to level scores with those big twos. But this time he chases down the rebound, takes it to the hoop, lays one off the glass and picks one up. That is 16 points to them. They still trail by three. And a minute and three on the clock. This is the general giving it to Big. Big spotting up for a two. And in and out it goes. Amritpal with the rebound. This time back to Abhyudhya. Abhyudhya to Vishesh. Vishesh for a two. And he sinks it. That is 18 points for them. They trail by just one. It could swing any which way. Just 44 seconds remaining. And this is a Masters that required two right now to ice this game. And almost, yes, that is it, folks. That is the end of this game. Grand finale. And you can see that even before the trophy was awarded, the team owner has come and picked the trophy away. 21-18. This had everything going for them to make it a grand, grand finale. What a celebration. And this is what everyone was waiting for. But Amritpal is asking for a review. It is not over till it's over. 36.4 seconds remaining. Was it a two? We'll have to wait and see. Is that what they're talking about? A lot of drama in this game. Even if it wasn't a two. That would have fetched them the 20th point. And with 36.4 seconds remaining on the clock, it could swing either which way. Because a ball possession would come right back to the wingers after that conversion and anything could have happened. But still, the wingers would need three points to make sure that they ice the game. But instead, the advantage, despite the fact that Masters, even if they were awarded one point, the ball would come back to them on the alternate possession and... Anything could happen. 
it is a two and the two is all right legitimate and good they have managed to pull off a victory and brilliantly done the gurugram masters are the masters of season 3 and how dishing out the second and a second loss for the amrabad wingers when it mattered the most in their one and only occasion that they squared off in this season what a finale superb finish and definitely true champions the gurugram masters but these two teams have ruled the roost and in a way that no one else could aspire to do both teams have played phenomenal basketball and of course in conference b it was the uh, wingers all the way picking up victories in all the five rounds and just lost one game in the entire journey but this is a second game that they have lost and this is the moment that they would have liked to win because that would mean they would have been the champions of the season the champion of champions for all six rounds but it is not what it is and the masters showed them who are the masters of season 3 what a phenomenal game and the final score gurugram masters are the champions of round 6 the grand champions 21 18 they have managed to eliminate the wingers and dish them a runners up check this time something that the wingers are not used to at all and uh, this has been a game that had everything drama action pack, uh, passion and everything else that you could expect in a finale and 3x3 has been best embodied in this particular game because this was a big mashup and the clash of the titans as everyone was waiting to see what was going to happen and the masters proved that they are the worthy champions very very well done by these boys and what a season it has turned out to be Thank you.